Frank Andrew Lovejoy Jr. was born March 28, 1912, in the Bronx, New York, but grew up in New Jersey. His father, Frank Lovejoy Sr., was a furniture salesman from Maine and would work as a salesman for Pathé Films. His mother, Nora, was born in Massachusetts, whose parents were Irish immigrants. As a teenager, Lovejoy worked as a runner on Wall Street, but he would lose his job after the market crash of 1929. He started acting and working in theater to make a living during the Depression, first in Philadelphia, and then with touring companies, and then would make his Broadway debut in 1934. Lovejoy would become a successful radio actor. He played Broadway Harry on the Gay 90s Review, and he was heard in the 1930s crime drama Gangbusters. He also played the title character on the syndicated show The Blue Beetle in 1940, and later in several episodes of The Whistler and Box 13. During its first season, Lovejoy was the narrator for the show This Is Your FBI. Lovejoy played in radio soap operas. He was in Valiant Lady, This Is Our Lives, Brave Tomorrow, and In Bright Horizon. He also appeared in episodes of Suspense in the late 1950s, and he starred as John Malone in The Amazing Mr. Malone. And he is well known as reporter Randy Stone in the newspaper drama series Nightbeat, in which he starred from February 6, 1950 until September 25, 1952. In movies, Lovejoy was successful at playing the everyday Joe type of character. Starting in 1948 in the movie Black Bart, Lovejoy would appear in many motion pictures, playing mainly supporting roles. Of note, he appeared in the 1951 movie Goodbye My Fancy with Joan Crawford and The Hitchhiker in 1953, which was directed by Ida Lupino and co-starred Edmund O'Brien and William Tallman. He was in several more movies, notably Stanley Kramer's Home of the Brave in 1949, Breakthrough in 1950, Joseph H. Lewis' Retreat Hill in 1952, and Beachhead in 1954. In 1951, he had the title role in the movie version, I Was a Communist for the FBI. And he was in the 3D classic film, House of Wax in 1953, with Vincent Price. Lovejoy starred in two short-run TV series, Man Against Crime and Meet McGraw. Lovejoy's final television performance include the episode County General on the ABC series Bus Stop in March of 1962, and he also appeared on the ABC crime drama entitled Target the Corruptors. The Internet Movie Database gives Lovejoy credit for work in a total of 63 television shows and movies from 1948 until 1962. Lovejoy was first married to Frances Williams June 30, 1939, but they would divorce within a few months. In 1940, Lovejoy married actress Joan Banks. Together, they had a son and a daughter. On October 2, 1962, Frank Lovejoy died of a heart attack in his sleep at his residence in New York City. He was survived by his second wife, Joan Banks, with whom he had been appearing at the time in a New Jersey production of the Gore Vidal play, the best man. Lovejoy was 50 years old. Information for this biography was provided in part by Roger Hohenbrink and was also taken from the Internet Movie Database, from John Dunning's The Encyclopedia of Old Time Radio, from the website franklovejoy.com, and from Wikipedia. For Old Time Radio Researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.